This is Stuart Cameron with a look at yesterday's rugby from the Borders. Two Border derbies were played yesterday, both in the RBS Border Cup, with Melrose beating Kelso 39-17 at Pointer Park, scoring five tries in the process to make it four out of four in the competition. Austin Lockington, Alan Dodds, Nick Bevan, Ross Ovens and Rory Knott all got on the score sheet, with Andrew Skeen and Ben Chalmers both kicking two conversions, Chalmers also landing two penalties. For Kelso, Murray Hasty and Terry Skeet went over for tries, with Matty Douglas converting both and also on target with two penalty goals. The result means Melrose need just a draw against Peebles at home next week to secure the Cup and, of course, progress to the Scottish Cup quarter-final stage. We hear first from Melrose Director of Rugby, Mike Dalgetty. Very happy. Um, we sent a young team out, six or seven young boys, sort of 19 years old. I'm very, very happy that we've got the bonus point win. Um, they all played very, very well. So, you know, from the point of view of the development of the club, it was uh, we were asking them to do an important job today to try and get us to the quarter-final of the Cup and mission accomplished, they did very, very well. Kelso tri-scorer Murray Hasty. Tough day at the office. It's always tough against Melrose. They, they still brought a tough team down. Uh, we were on about, I think somebody said it would be a bit of a Mickey Mouse team, Melrose, but uh, going through that, that is no Mickey Mouse team. Um, so we're still disappointed, obviously, because I think that's 39 points on the board. So again, a lot of points on the board there against us. But to, to fight as we did, I think we, we, uh, we stuck in well and proud of the boys, like we all said that, so uh, very proud. You can see highlights right now on Borders Rugby Television at bordersrugby.net. Peebles gave Hoyk a bit of a scare in their cup match, which was switched to Burnfoot. An early Neil Rennick try put Hoyk in the lead, but Kieran Brown went over for Peebles and Greg Rabin's conversion gave Peebles the lead. Lee Armstrong's try converted by Rennick saw Hoyt go back in front before Rayburn kicked a penalty. A late Neil McComb touchdown took the score to 17-10 for Hoyt, who need a five-point win against Selkirk next week and hope that Peebles produce a shock at Melrose if they're to win the trophy. Hoyt coach Phil Leck. We always approach the game in the same way. I mean, the, the, the top and bottom of it is the pitch is the same for everybody. The, the referee is the same for everybody. And, and all we've done is we've moved from one piece of grass to another piece of grass. So there's no excuses from our point of view. We weren't firing on all cylinders and we and, and we scored three tries and maybe should have scored six or seven. And, and you could argue that we should have had a couple of penalty tries from scrums, which is quite a shock for our side. But um that's the way that goes but interpretation and, and, and people defended really well and take nothing away from them I mean Peter's got them exactly uh, well drilled and he, he knows exactly what the capabilities of the side are and they play to those capabilities and they they spoilt and they, they they competed at rook time and they did everything that were asked of them and, uh, and fair play to them In Championship B Jed Forrest ran in 11 tries at last Wade on their way to a 69-12 victory which puts them back at the top of the table Monty Mitchell scored a hat-trick of tries, Chris Gillen and Matt Burke got a brace each, with the others coming from Robert Hogg, Stephen Bouglas, John Scudrow and Donald Grieve. Chris Laidlaw kicked five conversions, Liam Lawrence scored two. Jed skipper, Robert Hogg. We knew uh, La Suede would be a tough game, especially at the start of year after New Year. To come out on a day like this and play like that and score 11 tries, it's absolutely amazing. It's an amazing effort for the boys and I credited every one of their players after that game. We know what we're up against from Musselburgh and Howe Fife. We know, we know what they're playing next week, so the pressure was on us to, to get the five points today and we've done it. And uh, credit to the boys, we've done it actually within the first 20 minutes So and we just pushed on after that. We never t- took our foot off the pedal and it's, it's a credit to every boy up there who took part. In the semi-junior league, here are the results of the four games that were played. Gala Wanderers 12, Jed Thistle 36, Hoyt Wanderers 39, Peebles Colts 7, Kelso Quinns 10, Melrose Wasps 32 and Tyndale 37, Duns Colts 8. For a full list of results, fixtures and to get the latest news, results, rankings, audio and video, go to bordersrugby.net.